Hello fellow Torgle enjoyers and welcome to one of our weekly Torgle appreciation meetings. Today we want to discuss the fluffiness of his perfect fur. keep uh, I, I kind oh my god can I talk I kind of need uh, to take to keep an eye on the weather because it's kind of raining but not really and I have my window open so uh, I'm like I'm a little worried that you know everything will be flooded uh, but it wasn't supposed to be like heavy rain so I just need to I just need to keep an eye on it so I might disappear <laughs> Just for like two minutes and check on it. Um, but yes, we're playing some more Final Fantasy 16. Hello. Um, I don't even remember where we left off. I don't think I have any recollection of what is even happening in that game. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but welcome. Hi, we're somewhere in the game. Spoiler alert. Um, but yes, uh, we're we're going to do a little bit of gaming today. Uh, I went outside today and I immediately got catcalled <laughs> and then something got stuck in my eye again I think I don't know if it's still there uh, but my day has been great uh, and then also there's another thing that happened today that was uh, that was just weird uh, but anyway welcome in everyone uh, I'm gonna just do this hi your PS5 will end the rest man in four minutes. Ah, shut up. Okay, anyway, hi. Wait, let me let me get rid of the cable, everything, uh, and hope that my controller has been charged. And if not, I will be very sad. <laughs> but hi, hello. Um, so let's see. We also have Dar here today again, as per usual. Uh, he needs to watch my spending so I don't buy 15 Torgal plushies. Um. Let's see. Let me just say hi to everyone real quick. Uh, hello, Izzy. Hello, Zar. Hello, Frost. Hello, Skittishing. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, also, Izzy, thank you very much for the 16 months. Thank you, fellow Torgal and Jars, and welcome. Uh, hello, fellow Torgal and Jars, and welcome to one of our weekly Torgal appreciation meetings. No, no, that's on Saturdays. The meetings are on Saturdays. Today, I want to discuss the fluffiness of his perfect fur. Yes. You can definitely discuss that. Just the official meeting times are usually on Saturdays, but it's okay. Um, let's see. Uh, thank you, Frost, for posting the message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so tired of rain. The weather has been fucking the east side of the states up in the last two weeks. I'm so tired of rain. Wasn't the... Didn't you have... Uh, didn't you have uh, the whole thing in, like, New York? Or is it New York? Do I know? Do I know? Do I know anything? No. Um, didn't you have the whole thing with the uh, dust, the desert dust thing, something? Wasn't that? Wasn't that going on? And that was pretty horrible. And you were supposed to stay inside, and all of that. Um, because that I saw that, and that was very bad. And I would take rain over that any time. <laughs> But I get it if, if it like keeps raining as well. At some point you get depressed, right? It's like it's ugh, it's just not nice. Mm. Let's see. Mm. I've been here a while. I was in a raid with D. Wait, is D? Wait, what is D doing? Is D streaming? I was on Twitch earlier, but D isn't. No, wait, D is streaming. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna say hi to D real quick. Wait, D, you're cute. Anyway, moving on. He, I won't even, I won't even stay to see his reaction. I just wanted to, <laughs> I just wanted to tell him that. Moving on, I'm multi, multi tanking, multitasking, multi tanking. Both of these. All right, okay. It's Independence Day. Yes, it is Fourth of July. Right. With the 4th of July. 
Um, New York looked like upside down. <laughs> it was smoke from Canada that caused it. Yeah, I heard right from the wildfires. That's just crazy to me because it was like so intense. Uh, and I guess the wind was making it so it all gathered up in that area, which is insane. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're okay. Because I know that can be pretty... That can fuck with your... That can fuck with your lungs and everything. Uh, I saw like a... I think... I don't know. Was it a video? I think it was some video on YouTube uh, that gave... <laughs> D gave me a shout out when I saw it. D, sh stop! Don't give me a shout out. Freaking how dare! Wait, and now someone wait, 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 and someone just followed how dare they? Wait, 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 wait. Now I need to go back. Wait, that's this is not okay. Wait, what is this thing? Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a shout out back. You fucking idiot! Screw you! Screw you! I'm a. Uh, how do I do this? S O. You better, you better fucking go over to D, and you better, you better follow him as well, so he gets some follows back and can see it, <laughs> so we can communicate. Um. Anyway, um, D is a Final Fantasy fourteen streamer. Um. Okay. Anyway, he's talking you up. Well, well, just, just, just. Okay, just D thinks. <laughs> D is a cutie. Um, also, Mothra, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I don't even know. It, they probably just click the little. They probably just click the little thing. You know, the, uh, if you do a shout out, you can just follow. <laughs> you can just follow, and you can't even. You can can be not in their stream. Um, but yes, thank you, thank you. Two streams, mod duties, and being. Why are you? Oh my God! Why are you so upset? Jesus Christ. Um, can you even, are you sure you can tank and do, and do all of that, huh? Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> um, the moon was blood red. Wait, it actually was? What the fuck? Dude, that's crazy. That is, I can't even imagine that. I hope it's better, but it's better now, right? I hope it's better. Um, he's in mentor let's now. I've been abandoned. <laughs> oh no. As a hype sai, hello, welcome in. I'm a uh, life is pain. Clive. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying that. I thought we had to do an intervention. <laughs> but hi. Okay, let's see. Um, let me just move a little bit to the side. And then I let the cat out of the box. Okay, I'm gonna do a Meow. Meow. Hello. Hi. Earth. Earth to cat. Hello. Are you here? Are you no. available? No. Okay. I pictures what it was nuts. Damn. Uh, are you the Discord? Do you want to send? If you want to send them, you can send them to the Discord. But I don't know if you're in there. Yeah. I was fighting for main tank in your speed with my trash gear <laughs> and winning. I know. If you, but you won without provoking, right? Because if I fight for aggro because I love doing that, I'm I'm weird. Okay, I'm I have I have a problem. Uh, I do uh, I do try to fight for aggro in alliance raids uh, when I'm a tank. <laughs> And then I want to do it without provoking because provoking is just, you know, the easy way of doing that. Uh, but yeah, I, I am very, I don't know. I don't even know my rotation. Like, it's like, I want to be so good, right? And I, I, I have these super high expectations of myself, but then I don't even know the most basic stuff. So uh, that's totally a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, feel free to join it. Uh, you just need to like, do the first thing, we have onboarding, so you're gonna be asked a few questions if you want, but you can just skip them uh, if you don't want to do that. Um, and then you can you can just take the, the mandatory role, and then you can, I think, post in every channel. Uh, I'm not sure anymore, I don't remember what exactly I, <laughs> what exactly I put as standard channels and whatnot, but uh, there is like an IRL stuff channel, so you can definitely post in that if you want to. Uh, Provoke is an instant disqualification. Yeah, right? Tanks have rotations. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I like to believe so. I like to believe so too. 
I mean, I think so. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I don't ever play it. The only thing I like barely know, the only rotation I I'm barely aware of is uh, Dark Knight rotation. And that is kind of it. And even that I don't know fully. So, um, yeah, I'm not really an expert when it comes to that. But I do like, I do like to think that they have... <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, and maybe press a cooldown. Yeah, you know, mitigation is probably the most important part. Because, uh, yeah, I, you know, I as a healer, I do like it when my tanks, uh, do not immediately fucking die. <laughs> and I appreciate when I, I'm not the only one fighting for the tank's life, but the tank is also joining in, so yeah. Midi what? Uh, yeah, that. Exactly. Uh-huh. Just hit all the buttons every minute. No, it's every two minutes. What do you mean every minute? What buttons do you have to press in a minute? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? Okay, no wait. mercy. No mercy. That's a minute cooldown. I mean, yeah, but that's not like that's not a. Come on now, that's that doesn't count. That oh my is God, you're right. my damage buff. That still doesn't count. Okay. It's still a, it's still it's still it doesn't count. <laughs> it's okay. every minute. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> no 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 stop because then you're gonna be like oh no no mercy is important and then Kumo is gonna be like Zara why aren't you using your no mercy and then you're gonna say oh it's because Saka said it was important and you know that all hell that would break exactly loose what I'm going and to I do. would fi no you can you can literally not do that to me. Z like he like Kumo already hates me. You can't do that to me. He is it's already so dis nice. He's already so disappointed. You can't do that to me. <laughs> mm. Don't do that. It's to awfully me. nice you to need you to for not liking you. No, he's he's really mean to me. <laughs> Absolutely. He low rotations one 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 five one one. That's true though. Uh, even though I actually, uh, honestly, I mean, yes, I do press one a lot, but I honestly feel like I have a lot to do for being a healer because it's astral thing, so yeah. Also, you're right, Skidishik, that is a red moon, and that is fucking terrifying. Uh, that's actually... That's actually insane. I hope it's better now because that literally, yeah, it can, as I said, it can pretty much mess with your with your lungs and i saw a post about like if you stay inside you know God, how to how back. to properly prep your home and, and protect your plants what? and your pets and yourself hugo kupka is no more oh right i remember now be. the idiot All of our comrades who lost their lives back at sid's place be smiling down at you right now we had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fucking oh. fallen. Uh. I expect that was your doing as Hi, well. Hi, Lancer. It. It's it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. How are you doing? Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. She's coming with us. Yeah. We win. Word on the royalist movements since I've been away. Coming Shouldn't on what now? Sigh. <laughs> uh, if you Behave. really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I get good buttons every 30 seconds in one minute. I don't even know what you you know what you do your tank things it's fine I I'll, I'm just gonna say I know nothing about what you do and that's ah, okay I, as long as you know what you're doing returns. we're good and with hardly a scratch on him I may have picked up one or two <laughs> well the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important a scent. The scent of Waluders. Waluders? Waluders? But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave. As did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. 
I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? The what? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Oh boy, here we go. Okay, wait a second. What are the odds that they just added all of this in? After they wrote the story and they were like, this is going to be too complicated if we don't have these little tidbits of like... Showing the map and showing what's currently going on because I like that is smart in yeah, that case. That is smart in that case, but also that is I think you know this is like they were looking over and they were like, wow, this is kind of you know there's a lot going on. I don't know if people can't keep keep up, and Lord then they went, well, dominion over all of Ash. we're just gonna. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm. The dominant of Odin, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. the Canvarian War of Independence in 849, the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, the Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Jesus. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of <laughs> What year was the other one? I and don't know. on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? Anything over eight, like anything, c counting anything over eight is impossible for me. In summary, I know not to attend the Lord's betrayed Kupka. Barely. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme Sometimes. tied to the ambitions of one I'll man. I'll remember you said that. King Barnabas. But there is okay, hold up. <laughs> you're setting me up. You're, you're setting me up here. Please stop. Need to wallow in I said pain. sometimes, barely. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your lord uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human, and we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Mm -hmm. Oh, so hi, Gulliver! Hello! How are you? What day is it today? Tuesday? Tuesday! How are we doing on this fine Tuesday? Is anyone doing re-clears? Anyone doing re-clears today? Any re-clearers? Any re-clearers? we clearers Busy with Pete and Asprog? Understandable. How is that going? How far are you? 
I'm an animal? Absolutely you are. Ah, Clive. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. Oh my. Can you really be true? Yeah. <laughs> Look, he's crying. Oh my god, why are you. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Big baby. Why are they so mean? Uh, why are you so good reason, mean? children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. Hug! Alright! Brilliant! Is it? Is it fourth I is it is it the fourth of July? <laughs> Celebration that we're doing today, I guess. Thank you, Clyde. I cannot wait to share the good news. Is do people are people Hippocrates taking off today? After Kuka fell. Is today like a Ultima. A lot of people are like this. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no, and not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Pain. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. He's to calling others, me crazy. He reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Also, hi, Gyu. Are you bald under my hair? I am, in fact, bald. Yes. And so are you. Unless you don't have hair to be bald under, then you are just bald. But, yeah. And I can't take my hair off because it's grown in. But I can well, guarantee you underneath I'm bald. Plays with himself. Yep. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Solid. Nothing escapes yep. you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders then. Good. I'll start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head though. A lot of you are spending time with family and friends and both being noisy. Oh no. I'm just wondering if it's like an official. I'm like super uneducated apparently on, on the subject, but. Blackthorn. Yes, it is. You have a moment. Yeah. What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kupka is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> this is it then. A new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. Hmm. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Crack the crystal. Hmm. I'm telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Same troops are massing in every border across the You barely sat down since you came home. Have you even got you running air rooms or something? Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. She was right, though. 
Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers. Trying to do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. That's mid. Mid? Mid? to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood, and more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shield in around the sides, that stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. This is just like people explaining P12S mechanics to me yesterday. <laughs> Luckily, you don't need to. Okay, I have no idea what you just told me, but I'm gonna just get these over where I need to get them. Surely, surely that'll be fine. Totally. Editor started reading books that don't have any. Oh my god, editor, what the heck? He said editor editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in them. Even I don't do that. What the heck? I went up to give some freeze. Hi! I have some things for you. Can I ask a favor? Hell with it. It's for mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. Spare myself for your sake. Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. There you go. Gregor's Tate. Well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy though, and I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. I read the book once. True story. Damn. Damn. Um, 
I think I willingly, I've willingly so read like two really books. There again, isn't she? Typical. Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And uh, what is it we need to do exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade steel won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of Much sand science. after that you can only find out in the Valcroy. Such Yeah, this they call is a it. weird interview. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should that. have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. No. Can I beat stuff up? I wanna. Why did. Why did I. Wanna punch stuff? What is. Yeah. You're going after the Stardust, then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Um, Gav! Gav, you're with me. I like Gav. Gav is funny. All right, then. Go on, uh, private so, trip with uh, Gav. Be a little where do we find this Stardust huh? stuff? Huh? There's a river that runs through the southern I reaches never of the Velcro. The... It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcro, eh? That's down past Dallamil. But go ahead I'll if go you want to be gay with him. Out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. Hmm. Hmm. Right. <laughs> I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a bad, I'll pick up the rest of the stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. You too, eh? Don't go letting him fleece you. A little homosexuality has never hurt anyone, okay? I'd like to see him dry. Huh. You know, I would. I don't. I don't think Gav and me go well over because, uh, you know, I'm very, very much one for attention, and he wouldn't be able to keep both eyes at me. Zai, <laughs> how dare you? How fucking dare you? <laughs> My God, uh, I'm also. I didn't know we had side quests, so I guess I'm. I'm. I guess I'm doing side quests now. Oh no! Oh no! What do you mean, oh no? Oh yes, side quests. Let's see. Mm. Oh, the crystal. Hello. 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 Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Okay. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Hello, Sid. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I still think that guy looks like a find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take yeah. more seriously. Go, so go. So how's the kids today, Frost? They, uh, they hanging around your neck? 
Excuse me. Quinton mentioned strange Can figures I hang having around been sighted near the village. Crossed. Have you seen anything? Nah, hey, not me, Gov. <laughs> I heard the rumors, though. I'm here most days, right next to the gate, and I ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary. Don't worry. Any shady characters try and slip into town this way, and I'll soon come running. And shouting, most likely. Cross right. gives them nuggets, so I think we should infiltrate. Right? I think so too. Thank you. I'm not sure I can hold the weight of a dragon. Are you calling me fat? What do you, what, 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 huh? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? Why is there a hello? Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it, screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Off we go. Is our best bet, then. God damn it. What do you say, Torgal? Torgal! Let's go and investigate. Let's go. I'm calling me weak. Oh. But wait, that's not. Give me my chocobo. I guess we have to be outside the gate. Yeah. Hi. Let's go. Ambrosia. The kids are watching Mario with videos on YouTube. Kids. Aww. Aww. Yeah, oh. boy. <laughs> Guys, I did the unimaginable. You there. I cleared P10 Nessin to try. What the oh, fuck? Can I get you some high, please? Jeez. Get them before they escape. Wait, why is there a soldier here? I thought it was gonna be Black some. Shield. Oh, boy. Here. Anyway, Izzy, congrats! That is actually insane. You. We give a damn. Oh! I'm gonna punch the shit out of you, idiot. How dare you? Wait, there's... So those guys have a lot of swords for shields. I know, right? How fucking dare they? <laughs> How dare they? Why were they here? I don't know. Are they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need. Um. I'm gonna just port back. I'm very lazy. <laughs> I'm very, very lazy. Mhm. Mm so uh, you're definitely also going to reclear. Uh, P11 and P12 and two tries, right? Right, Izzy? Absolutely, right? Especially P12, right? God. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? Good. I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. 
Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. Huh? And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sandbrack. Yeah. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Huh? Why him? Why Lostwing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. Why is why is this a random NPC giving us like it a? It was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, huge who was my speech? one true Hello? ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade. A means of ridding himself of his rivals. A mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family all slaughtered. What is going he on? He faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones. My livelihood. My position. The faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my Why own. Why is this so creepy? <laughs> I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, Ow. It begins. Sloppy. Ready for war. Wait, this is going entirely where I didn't think it was going. What? <laughs> yeah, Gulliver, you're gonna have... Depending on where you are in B10, that's take, gonna take a bite. Unless you get really good groups. Yeah. I'm not going to change his mind. And yes, yeah. definitely important information for us. Yes, totally. and thank you, Dar, for gifting us up Any to Gallagher. the innkeeper is a friend of mine. What oh, is yeah. this? Ooh, Enhancer. 230, but 215. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know if I should get that. I mean, I can technically just get it, and then if I want, I can just switch it out. If it looks oh, stupid, yes. 
If it looks stupid, I'm just not going to use it. It looks kind of stupid. <laughs> it, it looks kind of stupid, but it's fine. It doesn't look stupid enough for me to be sure about this. Um. So now there was another side quest. This was weird, especially not getting like a follow up or something. Is that Gallagher standing behind me? <laughs> what do you mean? Final Fantasy. <laughs> Stalking Frost, I see, huh? Huh? The most fragrant herbs and spices. Hi, so can I help you? Oh, just like that. And without so much as a bow on your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look huh? for myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Who? I don't even know who. What? We'll how I do I even know where? How? Where? What? Where might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right, then that's where I'll start. Use your loaf? <laughs> what kind of quest name is that? Uh, uh, get a firm grip on your loaf and let's get going. Excuse me? <sighs> Made from the stoutest stoneware. I'm so I'm I'm so appalled. <laughs> I'm gonna go find that loaf and drag it home. Ambrosia! Whee! Time to ruin the kids' fun, it's bedtime! Yes. Yeah, get them. Get them! Put them in bed! But dad, five more minutes on the TV! Kids be like, such devastation. Why have you yeah. betrayed me, it's, father? Yeah, right? It's the worst thing ever. I remember hating going to bed. Me too. I was always forced to take naps when I really, like, I'm, I was really not a nap person. And I, it was always like, no, no, you have to take a nap because everyone takes naps. When you're 40 plus, yeah. Yeah, when you're 40 plus, right? But it's like, I, I, I was like, I don't need to take a nap. Like, what? I'm I'm full of energy. I want to play, and it was like, no, you have to take a nap. And I'm like, w huh? Why? Like, what? How? What? Huh? I, like, it's like if I'm not tired, what am I taking a nap for? <laughs> hey, shade. Um, Hi, shade. No first. How dare they? Oh, this is here. He is. Here he sits. Is he meditating? You deserve a rest. Hi, are you on drugs, sir? Look at Torgal! Oh, Torgal! Oh my god, look at him! He's on the rock! Oh my god! Shade, how are you doing? And congrats for the first. We literally only have slacking people Excuse in here me. apparently what do you want the baker sent me to find you i am a sorry selfish sod aren't i i don't Certain even know you bro master must rue the day he took me in time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves now look at him I take it you miss the Mother Crystal. Oh, I hated her, but she was all I knew. Why is he? What is he Welcome married to this to thing? Years. What is happening? And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. Oh my I had god! I trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. 
But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. <laughs> He's having a hell of an existential crisis. Me. Oh, I loved her, damn what the fuck? Now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. Hi, King. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Hi, King. Um. Grab your loaf. Grab your loaf. Express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. What a fool I've been! I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You've opened my eyes. Wait. Excuse me, what is so happening? Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. The Turk, Turk guy who's literally who did nothing but swinging the sword and killing stuff to re inspire his love for loaf making. I mean, take a sniff, good sir. I mean, ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, <laughs> he's ready. Oh, oh. did he Behold put his loaf in? The Drake's oh my bar. god. A true How did he make that so quickly? Creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just it's look at one. it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True. It looks like very dangerous boobs. I'm gonna but be honest. I'm I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say what everyone's thinking. Why? No Fang at all. And look inside. She's That's filled fangs. to bursting Talking with a bounty people. of beautiful crystals. Salt. Crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Not only he's is my like apprentice back, worried. but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. The fact that they just have sliced bread over there, like to the right, is like, why? Is that just like, can people just take that? What is that for? Because that's going to dry out so quickly. It's for eating. Now, Dusan, I know you're keen, but do you have to use the good salt? Leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> Sorry, master. I'll go and get some more later. All right, okay. Wait, wasn't this the... Yeah, once you go flat, that was the... <laughs> that was that one. <laughs> I guess he didn't. See, the, the, the whole story here is that he didn't like the flat bread anymore, so he had to make the boob bread because he missed his, like, the most his crazy. rock wife, and so... Oh, you know? He needed some more curves. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Uh, King, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Looks like I found the river. He certainly got that low oh, his gav. Oh my god, please. Gav! Get over here, or I'm gonna get over there. Hi! Sorry to keep you, Gav. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about, yeah. just begging to be bagged. Mm -hmm. 
Then let's get begging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. Off we go. He just grabbed like he just grabbed the sand and put it in his pocket. <laughs> nice. Very good. Not even like you don't even get a bag or anything, you just put it in your pocket. I think I'm blind. Uh, Moon Lord, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Enjoy your follow emojis. I am entirely unsure. Where does last bit of sand is supposed to be? Have woe? This is not it. I'm gonna just get this. It's probably. Oh, uh, yeah, it's for. Yeah, 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 okay, well, alright. Yeah, I'm just looking for that one. Yeah. That should be enough for now. That's it. Yeah, I was getting on. Wow, I really feel like I've lost the ability to speak probably uh, probably today. Why? I don't know. Have you had enough water? You finished? How much did you get? Uh, enough. Have you had enough uh, sleep? Never. Alright, okay. Win, moon. You win. Huh? That might even be enough for all Blackthorn. Uh, uh, here, uh, before we go, do you mind if we have a chat? What are we having a chat about, Gav, huh? His loaf. Oh my god. I was just a little boy. Feels like ages is since he we gonna, had the Is he gonna confess his loaf? Anyway. Talk. You know, man to man like. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain? Hardly ever see you around the Also, height. am I the only one that keeps seeing Gav's, like, the, the symbol on Gav's belt as the elegant, uh, not the elegant, the, the, the Garland Empire symbol? We know it is. Oh Always God, on this. some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. So you keep sending me wherever you need to, that is and I'll keep going. On purpose. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you.
push him into the water. But like, why? <laughs> why would right. you? That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back it's to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead. And try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. Right. Ready to go home, boy? <laughs> Bark. Bark. I haven't pet Torgal today. Torgal, come back. <laughs> no! It's bugged! No, 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 come back. I got this. Now feel good, boy. Professional pastor, everybody. <laughs> Cute. You were right, boy. Ah. Um. So now we just go back. We, we just go back home. Don't die, Gulliver. Yeah, don't, don't die. Let's hope this is all black for me. Who's gonna post a wife who's dead? Exactly. We need you. What is this? What is the update? What, what is the upgrade I here? For you. Going purse weighing you down. Okay, same weapon, same things. All right. All right. All right. All right. I have 666 out of 9,999. <laughs> nice. Hey. Blackthorn. Got no, no satanic need. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I do. People are the, for the no, Wars. they're very holy here. Stop it. With. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Your beats sneaking around on your tod all the time. I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. These people are so British. They're what? British. British. Yeah, pretty much. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work speak. too. Give us a shout if you need anything. Oof, girl. Oof. A hundred five minutes for party fire to fill. I'm have to proc to more instead. Uh, that's a pain. That what is point in P10 are you at? He cracked the cr I might have asked that and just. Still two? You're joking. You might have. Galvar never gave us an answer, I think. I How to give there. Greens to the chocobo. No, it's important. It's okay. No, how dare you! <laughs> What's your prog point? Mid in P10. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. Why would anyone want to do that? Yeah, why would anyone want to read books without pictures in them? That's exactly why I've always read manga instead of if I don't come books. Up with you. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Okay. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. You're at the turrets? I could afford to refine the basics. 
Um, a turret, turret salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Yeah. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Does part of Just so do happens, two, there's one particular ruin two, that's broken into exactly two, the right shape and size piece. Two, 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 one. Yes. What's the name back there? I'll give you all the details. What's the name? Right. Sometimes they do. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> it is party finder. Yeah, yeah, basically. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, here. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. Stop showing that me this thing. I don't know what's going on. Science. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal is. displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you Explosions. see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Thank you, Clive. Mid I was so said confused. we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Did you ruin. feel your brain expand? Where would yeah, I find it? no, um... Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. I'm just confused. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there it's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them it's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that i see <laughs> then i suppose i better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid why did the I'll is it my just... team and head there right away we'll meet you outside is it just rest. me or does he do this whole like his whole like hip Hands on the hip animations, very sluttily because like, <laughs> like it doesn't look normal. You don't look normal, Clive. Uh, this is not normal. This is this is like slutty behavior. My Give God. Your fans I mean. Yeah. Also, welcome back, Frost. Hi. Welcome back. Yeah, I also think they do two, 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 one. Yeah. Seems like the easiest Spots. one. Yeah. Welcome to yeah, the Patron Whisper. Crust. Is everything well, we've are received the kids nice and to everything you? promised? Did you that once or? <clears throat> you earned this. Did you have to get the tape? Unlike Zar, they probably were. They awful, probably yeah. went to bed when you said they should. I always go to bed when I show. You literally don't. <laughs> when I hear that from someone saying they're going to bed and staying up and watching See, their phone and scrolling Twitter to I five in the morning. I don't care. I don't care because you have to get up at like 6 a.m. and then you stay up until like 2 a.m. Oh, that's good for us. Lucky <laughs> there. Yep. Yep, yep. Logan had a meltdown. <laughs> no! Wait, what is... Oh, okay, so this is why... Okay, this is why we had this whole thing, maybe, because shit is going down here now. Maybe, perhaps, possibly. Where, where am I going? Alright. There's probably going to be, like, follow-up quests here, so... Everybody's gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. In the end. 
Everybody's this is I'm wrong again. I'll die, yeah. Up the stairs. Oh. Nice, nice sense of direction, Strummer. What what have I done to you that you bully me like this? <laughs> I did it! I haven't gotten headbats today, that's why I'm a bit. Do you think, chat? Do you think? I can't be asked to, to deal with the wrath of this cat. Thank you, Frost. That's very kind of Let's you. Let's go. Are you better now? Yes. Okay. It's the 4th of July plus one. Hmm. Right? That's definitely it. Feature strike. Oh. Why are they still following me? Because they want to kill you. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so Hello, much Brad. for coming. The, uh, what are they striking Williams, for? Um, just over there, as is the creature hey. I told you about. Money. I imagine. Would money. You, uh, money. It's always would money. you mind? Of course. Have you striked ever? I'll be right back. No, I've just been pissed off at the people who did. <laughs> Understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> One, it made me lose my flight once. Oh yeah, that's awful. And then you have uh, anybody home? I was a war. Uh huh. I'm pausing. And then you have um, oh, was it neighboring company had a big strike, and they were outside the gate and basically blocking off our side of the gate uh, street Bruh. as well. Uh, so I basically threatened them to drive over them with a the big truck thing we had, or uh, they wouldn't get out of the way. Amazing! And it's like I, I I lifted one car a little bit off the ground to make my point. Uh huh. Yeah, understandable. I was so angry. It's like with people gluing themselves to the to the street, right? It's like, what are you trying to achieve right now? Like you're literally just making you're just literally just making an inconvenience for everyone. Like That's the point. Yeah, but what if someone is fucking dying and the ambulance can't get through and then they're like, Oh well, but I had to be angry about this and that. Also hi Brad Like Strike strikes are all good and well. Uh, oh, they, they're, this must be our unwanted visitor. Yeah. They are needed. Time to go. Yeah, but not 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 in certain ways, you know. Don't inconvenience me. <laughs> this thing is fucking stupid. Do the thing. What thing? The new thing. I have a new thing? I, I don't have a I don't have a oh my god what the fuck I don't have a new thing Oh too slow Yeah, that frost. 
I'd go through it with no warning. Yeah. yeah. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid. But then you're getting sued, and then you have any trouble now. You know. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll um see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll admit I don't like where you're taking this. What is this? Increase the strength tonic duration by 10 seconds. No one cares. Coming for you. Not my fault. They're stupid. Yeah, it's it's not. Imagine having a pregnant wife in the cover. Yeah, exactly. Right, stuff like that. It's like, and then and then they're like, oh, we're like you can protest all you want, but it's like if you're literally inconven in 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 conven in conveniencing. Uh huh. If you're inconveniencing other history. random people that have nothing, like that have nothing to do with the government or anything, right? And shit like that happens where you need to be somewhere quick. Then it's like, what are we achieving right now? Apart from, I don't know, just being a dick. <laughs> like, huh? If I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the Mid. helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shielding. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah. Hippocrates. Well, I've Hippocrates. That, I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it. You can take this to him? See what he makes of it. <laughs> Sorry. Don't criticize mid, though. That would be a mid thing to do. Why are these two people literally on the opposite side of the hide hideaway, hideout, whatever? It's rather inconvenient, isn't it? Hi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mate. Should we go to the pub and grab a point on it? Help me. <laughs> Go to the fucking pub. <laughs> Stop! Take your, granny, take your granny to the pub. I ain't oh fucking interested. Oh my god! <laughs> Apocrates, do you have a moment? Are you Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's a bit this time. Could you take a look at this? Hippopotamus? Is that a brain region? <laughs> no. Shielding for a mithril huh? engine? Whatever will that girl think of next? That's a brain region, right? Notes around the edges. No. 
She has some specific requirements for the materials. Oh my god. The yes, it is. Extreme heat on no, the that's a hippocampus. And yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight. Same thing. While also being light enough not to sink it. Uh, As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. Is a hippo. I see. It's the full name of a hippo. I wondered if you might know of a solution. Wait, you're fucking kidding me. There's no, no full name for hippo. Hippos are just hippos. I'm sorry, but there's uh, no full name for hippo. Check your DMs. Hippo is the full name. Check what the fuck DMs. is a hippopotamus? <laughs> That's a fucking lie. That's a lie. Uh, Hippo hippopotamus. It's okay. <laughs> Perhaps it is not a different material she How requires, dare you? but just a different approach. What do you Flip mean? It. Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. You sent me to Wikipedia link! <laughs> So mean. Yeah. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of pitch. I see. He said Early pitch, I heard history pitch. Speak of a preparation known pitch. as moon dew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. Oh. So if we could recreate it, it might be applied to some material I'm learning important in intel. order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom. Okay, you didn't have to send me the Vic Wikipedia article for hippocampus as well. I might have to offer. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Hippocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. The other can assist but me in researching off. how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Who do you think I took with me? I know who it was. Who? So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? All right. Yep. So, <laughs> what are we fetching? I have taken the liberty of Just preparing. Jill can read books. Yeah. I mean, we're absolutely getting to spend more time with Jill, so. Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, and they have never potent effects choice. that are it's rarely true. exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? Moondews? Moon I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. 
See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. <laughs> Is it me? Or did she just sound low-key pissed? <laughs> Hippocrates and I will look after things here. You head over to Northreach. Never mind, she's fine. She's okay. She's I... Gonna... Huh? She's going to... Dar, entertain them. I'll be right back. I need to check on if everything is flooded yet. Yes, check the cave entrance. Be nice. I'm always nice. That is a lie. Pure art. We do a um, one of those uh, what's it called um, Final Fantasy 16 waifu rankings. Or tier list, I believe the youngsters call it. God, it's been raining here for two days and it's still freaking warm. Um, yeah. First, second place for her for me. Either or. As far as outfit goes, Benedicta top. No, no questions asked. And if you like your wife is a little crazy, then uh, I mean... the better. A little crazy is good, I guess, but there's a limit. I'm crazy enough. right there so for now you have to deal with me how you doing Tim you good thank you very much for that Pat Very good. I'm a bit warm, but except that. I'm pretty fine. You know, stuff could be better. Body old, freaking. talking about something secret don't worry about it huh now i'm I worrying about, about it i wasn't about to say something sassy huh tell me say it 
I mean, we were talking about no. alpha tier lists. Where's Talia? And I mean. Okay. If, yeah. As far as Benedict that goes, she's welcome, she's welcome. the one who could blow you the best, apparently. Okay. With the wind, of course. Anyway, yeah, I mean, sure, obviously, that that would have been the first thing I was thinking I'll be about here as if well. You need me. You Absolutely. Nice need to stock up on these. Yep. There you are, Talia. Also, also, hi, Tim. Ah, and huh? there you are. We shouldn't have any problems Talia finding what we. Meeting an old acquaintance, and she goes to the brothel place. Excuse me. <laughs> um, we're gonna see Ayo? about that. Ayo, Ayo. Again, hello, Tim. <laughs> hello. In a place like this, but was the manager nice essence, to you? Perhaps we should split up. Take a few items I'm each. I'm always nice. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Okay. What do you want? Peppy or not? Fine. Thanks for nothing. Peppy or these nuts? <laughs> yeah, what's about to? Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Garlic! I hope it's to your liking. I should do it. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully, is finished too. Hope it's your like. Oh, fresh cuts. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin in the. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Got me nuts right here. Dar. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Quick chat? Quick chat? Excuse me. Hello? At the riverside? Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Kara when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us well, you still do. It's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... ...you're appreciated too. By all of us. This is awkward. <laughs> No kiss. No, that was... They were looking at each other and nothing was happening. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. 
I Thank you for the hydrant. Back to Tome so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway. All right. All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. Now I wonder what Jill. Jill probably also did get a cutscene. Now I wonder what her cutscene is. Missed the kissing cutscene. It probably is, and we missed it. I can't believe this. Oh, can't believe you done this. Mass massive L. <laughs> L choice, Roma. What do you mean? You made the same choice. That's beside the point. Uh huh. Right. Kissing scene or kissing scene or not? I wonder Tarya how Bakuji is, is getting on with the moon dew. I mean, I like Jill. I just think Tar Tarya. We don't see enough of her. I think. We should see my, a lot of her. That's okay. Relax. You can go to other sites for that. Okay. Chill. Oh, hold on a sec. Can you? How's work on the I mean, probably. Isn't well, that to deal with well with indeed. it? And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Tarya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. I think these two should be gay, to be honest. <laughs> Rethinking it. Oh, I don't need Clive. I don't need Clive to be involved. Good to talk. We should do it again sometime. It appears our work here is almost at an end. Damn. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon dew are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing yep. and retesting, of course. Perhaps but. someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. Nice. Taya's not oh. in rule 34 yet. You just I checked. Go huh? and give mid the good news then. So did I. Out. But I found other stuff. <laughs> How dare you! Oh, why is it on the opposite side of the hideaway again, guys? Why? Why did you set up your cams, like, right on the opposite side? What is wrong with you? Ooh! Guys, stop sexualizing these wholesome characters. What is wrong with you? We're seeing troops in our side. Sent your DM. Wait, I need to investigate further. One, two. Out of two artworks, <laughs> out of two artworks that Zara sent me, two were AI. <laughs> out of three artworks Zara sent me, three were AI. <laughs> oh no, the weebs, uh, the weebs, uh, they're falling for it. But I mean. Sorry I can see. I, I mean, I can see the qualities, the but on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. It's no misery. Speaking, 
Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant! I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all no, these no, bits together. No, no, Clive, you're the glorified the errand hammer. boy. We're not, we're checking if other people have. What yep. do you mean? Huh? You know, when I go into this. How does Smith that make game, sense? I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Didgeridoo does! I stacks. love those things. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> oh my god, that laugh didn't match up with the <laughs> with the mouth at all. That was unfortunate. We're gonna build an actual ship. There we go. It's right finished! It. It's finally finished! Mm -hmm. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines, and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. Excuse you me? Don't, <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Bruh. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? <laughs> me? That. My god. We're not the no, ones what? posting loot artwork, we're just checking if other people have. But that's. But but that was it's what I was asked, but I was. Uh, I informed. Nothing. Just daydreaming. Okay. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. I mean, this so is going to take years to, to build this, no? Every scrap of soil in the twins turned black. We might still have a chance. I did that in 15 minutes. That's so. what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just I in mean, like, in-game. But now she's so close right. to being finished. I've realized... Not like real time. I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail aboard her by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Mid told me she was building a ship. No! That's a ship. 
Let's sail it round the lake. It has a plus as well. Uh, wait, and there's another one. Oh my god. Will we ever be free? No freedom. Only side quests? Side quests eternal. Sniff. I'm doomed. Well, that's it. Here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out with a bit of bother, if you remind him. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. But does an alembic? You want split in? And it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for Help something to all. filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Sure. I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. Old of some. Do you know what I found now? <laughs> it's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hump board for one just the other day. Uh... I got myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. Uh... All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Am I about to get a million more hunts? Can't be that bad, right? <laughs> I expect nothing but the worst. Not like they're hard, right? Easy game. Ah-ha! <laughs> uh. Uh. Hello. <laughs> Ask about bomb sightings. Are you on a hunt for a bomb king, Koopo? If so, I have a billet that might interest you. Bomb. Oh my god. Uh, the cro- the cro- the croc. <laughs> The cock, some brook. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to the cock. Um, here. Where is that? Not here. Holy eye. Baywatch Gate A Unmet. tiny little place you haven't explored Oh it is? This? That's not tiny I don't know if it is You're tiny well, I'll be okay. taking you all to a storehouse you in the are. base Don't I? Did you even are you on the right map? What? Am I on the right map? I don't know. Am I? 
The croc. Yeah, the croc. But I haven't explored this area here. Where is Might as well. Huh? What? I don't know where it is. Oh, but now I'm ex now I'm exploring the area. I know you're all afraid. But now is not the time. Because you stuff him in a little box every day. No, no, no. He gets in there willingly. That's not my responsibility. And if he wasn't tiny, he wouldn't fit into the box anyway. I don't think so. Do you want me to... Okay, chill, Torgal. Want me to take you out of the box? No, and that, show would give them. A, that would give them free feet. We can't have that. That's them. true. Ew! No, I'm not dealing with that. Screw that. Why isn't this? Oh, there we go. But this is not. This is not. No, you're completely at the wrong place. I'm completely at the wrong place. What do you mean? It is fine. There. This is what I want. <sighs> no, let me open. Ah! <laughs> going then you can read the imperial chase on the map huh to the right of the map an explored area called the imperial chase oh you that's see a, a little 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 way to go there yeah i do i didn't even see that that was there what the heck I can't I have I'm traumatized by that from when I did like ah from when I did a million of these uh time to fight from when I did a million of these let me through of the chocobo races and Final Fantasy 14 because 
I needed, I needed the, I needed the gold, uh, the, what's the currency called? I don't know. But I needed that. Pretty! Oh my god! I can walk from here. Dar. <laughs> Dar, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Dar, you scared the shit out of me. How dare you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I slept for two hours and the tire just hit me. Go sleep. Close your eyes. I'll try not to scream. Relax. Then he, when you end the stream, he wakes up because of the silence all yeah. of a sudden. This is pretty. I'm gonna retire and live here with Jill okay. and Tario. Yep. I don't want to sleep. Why not? What is this music? Creepy music. Totally not an arena. Absolutely not. What a little pipe cracker. Ew. How did he ignite himself? A bomb coming. Okay, relax. See nothing, and somehow I lived. That's an explosive situation. Ow! What is even happening? Set them up, okay, can you relax? I'm fighting for my life here. If you die here, at least you'll go out with a bang. How dare you! <laughs> Good one, first. Go. Good one. Your reign is over. You all suck. Now to collect the ash. This looks like the stuff. <laughs> Let's see if there's any more. Where did the bombs in Final Aww. Fantasy XIV? These ones are You didn't are have to lit. read it out loud! Stop enabling each other! How oh, dare you! Rust my man! <laughs> We're a team. Team mod. Is that the 
You also struggling with sleeping at night for us? Just the heat, or? I hate you. I hate you so much. I hate you eternally. He cracked the crystal too. What is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Just some side quests. for what happened at Rosalith, I fear what might have been had I fe I fear what might have been had not you Gaff and Oh I fear what might have been had not you Gaff and Torgal fought so fiercely <laughs> I got it I can read once again you were there when I needed you the most and for that I shall forever be grateful Seeing the city I had once come to know as, know as my home reduced to flame and rubble has left me with much sadness in my heart. But the time for looking back is beyond us. We must focus on the here and now. Our memories will be waiting for us when this is all through. Jill. Send the second. I trust you will forgive me for putting you and your dear uncle to the test. I am confident that a man of your position can understand the importance of earning one's trust, especially in times like these. For what it is worth, you now have earned mine, and I can assure you it shall not easily be relinquished. May this be the start of a fruitful relationship. Uh, whatever. I'll help. Trouble with the ledges. Shouldn't he be asking Otto for help? Mm, understandable, of course. Hmm. Granny wants her help. What could be wrong with Torgor? He seen well enough when I last saw him. Something wrong with Torgor? We are absolutely going to prioritize that over everything else. What the heck? I guess this is to get new Hopefully weapons it's nothing. or something. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Uh. Help. Help. There's so many quests on my map. Don't worry, saving the world can wait. Yeah, I'm sure it can. For all the time, I will sit in Twindless Tunnels a bit. Blackthorn. Yeah. You have a moment. Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried That's about me, you. For real. And you might you have still be doubting your craft. <laughs> even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just... well... Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. Again? Is he depressed again? Because... A sword. An odd-looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but... On it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you. Uh, I don't know. Do we get a They're samurai sword? Exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. Sure as soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Oh, 
Okay, right after I have uh, delivered this quest on the other side of the map. She was building a ship. I like how the NPC dialogue, like what they're talking about, changes depending on where you are in the story. It's a nice yeah. touch, and they don't always say the same thing when you go past them. True. Hey, well, I did the thing, I think. All right there, Sid. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. There we have it. The Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. Very impressive. I don't know what that. I don't know what Since anything is. Cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. Purifier. The good it will do for the high guys is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that. What kind of magic? We happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. There's no we way they're trying to, to explain life into old boots and the like. And Save the hideaway a few gil. And that, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it will loosen up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Oh, so, okay, so they're trying to explain to me to try, inventory limit increase in, in in game terms. They could have just said, "Yo, here's a bigger bag." <laughs> well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more. Of Flexible. Right? Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Your mom's Thank more flexible. You for supporting me our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to been discover wonders like that stuff mm -hmm. I rubbed on your back. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. I don't see a bag. Concern? Excuse me? Increase in consumable inventory capacity! Amazing. Inventory increased! You have obtained a treated potion satchel, hereby increasing your capacity for carrying consumables. Item slot increases are as follows. Potion 4 to 6, the high potion, the whatever. So it's one more of each, except potions, it's two more. Very nice. Not too shabby. What did he stretch? I... Uh, can we stop asking questions? Stop! <laughs> stop, you're being cursed. Um, I'm gonna go to the... No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to this guy. And then I'm gonna go to the store and buy Did more. You get my letter? That's why I'm here. Potion. Shh. Otto won't be listening. <sighs> Is this better? <laughs> A little. Listen. 
Clive I've ASMR, hello. News. It turns out the hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders. And it's maybe my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Sadly, that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. Bruh. I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time. And I'm going to need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. Uh, there you are. <laughs> what a surprise. So let me get this straight. What a surprise. You forget <laughs> to pay our lenders what they're due. And instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. No, but did you have the hole you've dug for yourself? Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> But only 500 talents. Wait, what? We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Five million. Each. They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see. And, well, I, I must have made some sort of oversight. How do you make an oversight of 15 million? What is wrong with you? Those ledgers were my responsibility. It was my decision to entrust them to you. <laughs> Is it my fault? Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rosfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're gonna make this work. All right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is okay, you guys need to chill. <laughs> can you can you like take a minute and just close your eyes and 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 do some like breathing exercises and reconnect with the earth and uh, reconsider? Please. I could need to help. There might be. How do you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks, he says. Worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. It was something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. But you know how it is with this place. Orders to bark. Asses to wipe and all that. Excuse me? I know. Which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. You know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed <laughs> me. <laughs> because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. <laughs> yes. Best. Well... I suppose this is good then. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure Karen will understand. Oh no. Really? Do you think, you think Karen? Uh, I don't think Karen she will. will understand. Yeah, I don't think she will. That does not sound promising. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Nick told me she was building a ship. He's in trouble. He do be in trouble. Question for the streamer. Someone asked earlier if you're bald. Is it because you're actually Xenos? Uh, I would like to consult my lawyer before making any further statements on nose. the matter. You think something's wrong with Torgo? Thank you. So you can read. Congratulations. Oh my god, well, Karen, I please. <laughs> I said some weren't right. Roasted. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him. I didn't like him. Which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. 
Does he have a? No harder than usual. A, does he has he has you seen a deer? Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? Has he found a cute dog lady? What was it he said he was? A frost wolf. That's what the lawsman seems to think. He's too warm. And maybe they saw him have something to do with Make him balls. <laughs> Shave, him. Shave all his fur off. The difference is Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Stand Shave all your fur off. You mean? Huh? Perhaps. You're looking well, Karen. What do you want? How were they? I want to know about the sword you show Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignax, the man you want. Del Mechian bloke. Why are you rioting? And, and he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dalamil, where I left him. I wouldn't Thank shave Torgal. Oh. Unless he was warm. A touch eccentric. If you take my meaning. What? I appreciate the warning. He's a w what? A a, a touch eccentric? Boy. Excuse me. What is this? You ever wonder where the hell Karen finds all these treasures of us? That blade. I've never seen anything like it in all my years as a blacksmith. The edge on that thing. Fuck me. Okay, so what? What? Okay. Oh, the edge of that thing. Oh my then God. What God. Say no to that girl. Sir, please. What do you need? <laughs> Sorry, what it be? What is this? Ooh. That's what she said. <laughs> do you want me to stop? <laughs> I mean, you can probably get some views in with this behavior. Ooh! Wait, can I craft these? No. I can craft this one. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. I do say so myself. And then the plus one enhancer I can also craft, apparently. No scratches, right? Huh? And then I can make it a plus two! My best work, but it'll do. I could get a plus one, but I know that, yeah, that's kind of pointless. Why do I not have... Okay. Anyway. I don't even know. So this is the Torgot quest. We need to do that. Lawsman, I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. I rather think she might be right. Though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. Mm. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. If we assume 
that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain. It may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Give him a stay. After all, habitually prey Give him far humans, animals, big juicy ones. May yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to start. Good hunting, Clive. Oh boy. So many quests! Wait, which one is the... Here we go again. Is it this one? No, this is the two... Does it matter? You're gonna do everyone? <laughs> yeah, but I wanna... I wanna help Torgal first. Torgal's good, good. the... Torgal is the most important. No. What is this? This is not it though. Oh, this is the okay. This is this is the women. Clive, we weren't expecting you. I wasn't expecting to be here, but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. Wait, what is this? One of three brilliant gemstones acquired and set aside by Sid for a rainy day. Otto now deems that day have to be that day to have arrived, and wishes to use these rubies to pay our three outstanding debts to Lady Karen, Martha of Martha's Rest, and Isabel of the Vale. So we don't actually know what it is. Okay. All right. A star ruby. I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the differences in interest. Yeah. Sure, interest. let's sell it. Yeah, got out, I I'll take the rest. Much. You can no have, have <laughs> borrow from me five again. million. Anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days, I think he's the only reason the hideaway is still standing. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. But Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all? Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. That, and you keep good company. <laughs> I suppose I do. All right. Did that. Uh, what is, so what, what is, is this the bone? Is this the, is this the bone? Yeah, okay. All right. We're getting Torgal. Get yeah, we're getting Torgal some more food. This is the most important quest in the entire game. Can't even save a Torgal. Can you really save the world? Exactly. Good girl. Yeah. Bum, ba, dum, bum. I 
I still wish Torgal had gotten his own chocobo. <laughs> it's nearly in the back of it. Yeah. Surfing. That's true, Frost. It's very true. Absolutely. I'll be right back. Okay. No. Torgal's getting chicken wings. Will it be enough, I wonder? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I say that answers my question. Which means we owe the lawsmen mm. our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. Cute! Pet it! Get it, boy! Pet him more! When did you get so big? Pet him more! <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Hi, Alinti! How are you? Hello. Don't you dare clown me. Why are you so mean? Every time. Uh, this is Isabel, right? And this is, this is the blacksmith one. I'ma just do this one. It's out of love? What? what, what? I don't believe that. I <laughs> love for the clown knows. Oh. I'm back. Okay, well, I believe nice that. Hi, back. I'm dead. You look nice. Screw you. See, uh, Alente spent spent the points of love on you. Did you hear? I want to see. No comment. Oh, I'm about to spend some really points of love in this brothel. My lady. Well, I come bearing gifts. Gifts. Whatever is the occasion. Give her the loaf. Excuse me? Oh my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh. You disappoint me, Clive. Why? You might finally be warming to me. No! Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. 
for my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> it is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> I doubt anything could ever What a shiny good. Son. But you and the others at the hideaway. Yes. Are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. Long ago. Yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy. And blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened. Whether there was anything he could have done. But it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Bye. Want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with. Okay. Anyway. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. Saint Drake's Fang is gone. The whole Mother Crystal gone. My reputation will be ruined. Ruined. Calm yourself, Lord Ignac. Excuse I beg me? of you, before you do yourself a mischief. On the intrusion, but. Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time, and he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Radim! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! Very good, Lord Ignac. So angry. Would you Dude, mind that's a man child. What the fuck? Moment? Way, way, get him out of here. Way, <laughs> I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That, no, 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 that's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious, he has been dispossessed of his luggage. You see, the thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah, you know Lady Karen. Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went? I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamon is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. Then that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignac in your absence, and arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very kind of you. Farewell, and best of luck. What is your Oh, okay. Um. 
up here. Okay. Um. Let's see. Bum bum bum. Fly Ambrosia. Fly Ambrosia. Like, I oh my God! Wait, actually, I can jump with Ambrosia. I was absolutely not aware. Fly. <laughs> She frolics. Almost. She tries her best. Uh. She does fly for a bit, actually. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know. So if I'm like on a big hill and I do this, I had no idea. I thought she was merely a chicken. It's the best of nuggets. What? No! Even shaped like a prehistoric dinosaur? No! I don't want it. <gasps> Dumbass. Chocobos would be known as dino nuggies. What do you mean? Why? But they're not. I don't want chicken. I don't want chicken dino nuggies. I Does want you know that chocobos luggage. are actually based on be a prehistoric bird. All right. No. Let's get it back to Delamel. They're based on. Uh, Shoe builds. I hear I have no. you to thank for the return of my But effects. they look the same. What should I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. Huh? Well, Wyvern. Why is he calling I appear to be in your Wyvern. debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right, speak. A master Wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that. Excuse me? <laughs> it was made in the outer... <laughs> Radim didn't even have a reaction. He's just like, yeah, that would have been fine, my lord. Exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. Are we speaking about swords still? Second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. 
A whole array of them ranging from the coarse That's to the an fine. ugly bird. Ten thousand licks with the sharpening stone, then ten thousand more. terror bird. But it is the final stone Ew. which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that. Is the key. And a thousand licks <laughs> for us. That is well. Ingredient. He said a thousand licks. Are you? Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly might be a little sore at that point. Rendered. Take this, together with my regards. The very stone of which I spoke, far rarer among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. <gasps> so it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard at my heels. Are there are many other collectors out there. Too many to count, but only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord Byron Rosfield. Oh, no. And there's a perennial thorn no! in my side. <laughs> I can imagine. Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. Radim, we mustn't dawdle. I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. Now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? And no, Galvar, he wasn't talking about weeps, he was talking about Segza. I mean, sword making, sorry, what? Huh? Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about that sword then? I did better than that. find anywhere in Valestia. No wonder I couldn't get the same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <laughs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel, I could probably even make a twin of the blade that rattled me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield properly, and that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah, no point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter. Just imagine it. Good Valestian steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy now. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the curse breakers will be delighted. Just don't push yourself too hard. Don't you worry about me, sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one. August 2. It's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. 
You come and find me when you've got the materials. Right. I will. Okay. All I heard was him talking about repeatedly stroking a sword with stones. Hmm. Can we make this yet? Excalibur. How do you say that? Excalibur? Excalibur. Can I make that Kind, yet? kind of like Galibur. True. Uh, I can make it. Pog. So is there any bad thing about this? No. I can just... The only bad thing about it is that it just made a new sword, I guess. Oh, it doesn't last you a good while. Anything Whatever. else? Ooh, pretty. It matters not. I will acquire them all. I noticed you and Togo had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did ya? <laughs> you? You can uh, say that. Yes, I'm about to call it become the King of England. Absolutely. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? Well, I'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. It literally does oh. not match Clive's aesthetic whatsoever. All right, all right. No need to shout. Now we know what you're after. I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? Here. Feed the dog. You can, eh? I'm nice like that. In return... You can thank Tomes for me. I bloody know it all. I was just on my way to see him. This is always gonna make me King of England, isn't it? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What? What was that? Oh my god. <laughs> can anyone decipher that? Ah, Clive. Were you Bit able to locate it? your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. And Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? Thank about you for how us. she somehow woke the power within him. Precisely that. What? A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain That's questions in my mind. You see, oh. the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the record Wait, is this some is this some this is totally some reference I'm not understanding right now. Huh? But <laughs> they are somewhat different in <laughs> nature. To those you described Torgal as what? having used. Are you suggesting there was no deeper meaning. You know you don't know if you're in I know the whole thing, but like what Zar said, huh? Did you, did you just make that up? Why this of more than one <laughs> just said is happening? <laughs> Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. At poor! And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Friend! Yay! 
Yeah, that's actually a thing. Many people think that the uh, Sword in the Stone is Excalibur, but that is not Excalibur. That is Caliburn. Two different swords. What? So what's Excalibur then? That is, as Excalibur said, the sword granted to King Arthur by the Lady of the Lake. Yes, we have been fooled all this time. Wait, but how does but why does she give him a sword then? What? Uh, I'll give you I'll give you that that it's told me she was uh, a ship. most storybooks like children books and other like King Arthur story is depicting it as him pulling out Excalibur. Uh huh. All done. I mean, I remember the Lady of the Lake, but. I don't remember what she does, so I guess. She gives him a sword. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Apparently. Um. Oh, this is the high. Okay, never mind. I don't need that. That was good for me, since Still I'm bad at the game. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. What do you mean? Oh, about that. Uh, do you have both of them? I tried my best. The normal she was one just and the high to take one? it. She threw I'm it right uh, back in my face, in fact. Huh? And told me no. I could stick no? my stupid none of, stone none of them. where the sun don't shine. What? Try. How? That's why, that's why you're not good at the game, then. I have the one thing, two things I have equipped is... The thing you can buy from the lady, which is extra XP and extra ability points. Oh, okay. And then the dodge. Karen refused the payment. Mm. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. But so he didn't give her the. Oh my god. Do I have to do everything myself in this hide hideout? What is happening? Your hideout? Hideout, bro. And I'm supposed to be saving the world! Lady Karen, Go tells me you I weren't happy with our offer. But you prefer the debt was repaid in coin. What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard-earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another. And our uh, circumstances she... have changed. Surely uh, you wouldn't shun the gratitude what? of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? Fine, but I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Sure, go ahead. Five million, five, five million gil for me. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. Wow. Might be I already have a buyer in mind. Might be you even know her. The fine continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You wouldn't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. Bruh. Well, she said that she just tossed a talent or two in. Like yeah. a donation is like just a small donation of five million. Yeah. Thanks to this lump. Oops. She's rich. Act is she? Speaking of which, I, uh, I, I, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. <laughs> oh. So you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass behind oh that disc my. and don't get up before those ledges are square. Right away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You've seen that 
Oh, no. he, he literally got yeah, the yeah. listen here, you little <laughs> shit treatment. Yeah. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit, or because the filthy sod couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. Like well, most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of him. Huh. I they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers. Can I take? Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. Which is where I met him. He brought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, I set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... before fate stepped in. And said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first known day. And there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have... My family... were the ones who summoned the constable. Wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Okay. He was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. Stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. even do that. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. Aww. This note. Hmm? About it. Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He 
you should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then, why would he? Him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go with the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go... Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This'll do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. And the rain sea semi sea. Oh another my beautiful god. Day. Shut up. Be to see Bruh. Uh -huh. hey. Stupid ass weep game. How dare. How freaking dare. And now we get this cup thing. Maybe told me she was building a Also, ship. how dare you during all of that add a boob jiggle emote? I mean, is there ever a time you don't add a boob jiggle? Yeah, there's plenty of times where people would consider that inappropriate. How dare you? <laughs> Here, I'll remove the boobs. No, 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 listen, that's not what I said. Come on now. Oh my god, we're missing so many of these. When are we getting these? In all the side quests. Oh my god. But we did all of them. Alright, let's see. When story crash, shut up, Thor. <laughs> Astrid, we'd finished sending half the hideaway troops in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl'd do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. What are these emotes you're adding? <laughs> Why is it called cock? You spelled story like the floors of a building story in the title? I know! Wait, that's the e Why are you doing this? What What are Oblis. you doing? <laughs> Have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat. Going that way. <sighs> Thank you for the hydrate. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rode off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> what the heck? Got some life in her, ain't she? 
What the heck? I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for you. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? My dear boy, my journey to Canva has been a resounding su success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I for one believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use, unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. D ra rapping? <laughs> they're they're re <laughs> Huh? What? Huh? What is the meaning of this word? That is not beatboxing. Which is why I pen you this note. <laughs> what? What? What are you? <laughs> Stop adding sussy emotes. That's not sussy. I have 70k, but I'm not reading the 50k. I need to save it to resub my VIP. I mean, that, that does work, yes. Uh huh. Uh, which is why I pen you with this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle! Troubling Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Med. Well... What is the cat corn emote? emote hmm? So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It, uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Oh my god! Oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. That's so anyway, cute. We all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked. Wait, him. what is the Tankbuster one called again? The P10S one? We added that off stream, but it's amazing. Personally, Gav will be leaving with me. I signed it. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's Jill! got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Oh. Sid's legacy. There it is. <laughs> well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. 
His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it was never as bad as this. I know. The blind march is on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, <laughs> Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> oh my god. He must be protected. <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad market. <laughs> It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight oh risk God, risky than so the length of the Crystal Road. Oh. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goot. Oh, oh, okay then. That'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad! <laughs> get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> it's so Charlotte, good. You're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Don't ask. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. What is that? Who is it? Is anyone requesting these or are you just being... Are you just being sussy yourself, huh? Being sussy. I went into autopilot in P10 normal today and indirectly killed someone with special cells. Xena won't add sex 
What do you mean? Have people asked? She's just doing push-ups. I don't get it. demanded and he denied I mean he probably doesn't want to get banned how are you feeling oh boy better thanks to Taya I'm glad to hear it and Tog will help too and you boy Oof. do you think we locked ourselves out of the jail hand holding scene this used to be a trade route for well, the elder hand in bed until the Republic Kissing made a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Aww. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. What is that? What the fuck is that? We can't add that. <laughs> How dare you? I don't know. <laughs> Twitch of the which will find me. Ooh. Pretty. Wait, how big is this? All oh, right. Well. No, denied. Why do you have a so side what quest? Think? What is wrong Could with you? Why do you have to make me more busy? Really? It's as bad as that. What? Oh, why? Main story wins. Up ahead. And two there is no main story. Us. I lied. I take it there's danger on the road. <laughs> oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? No. How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. If you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Sure. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. Excuse me? Along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. This All sounds right. like so much Please like don't a trap. Just me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Mm. 
Also, what do you mean, Frost? Are you telling me that you're... you're I'm not sure I trust those two. Endless Frost, what the heck? It's lying in wait. I should probably take Are you telling me that you're close to your roommate? What is this? Oh, the what the fuck? Not... I was We've trying to guests. explore the area, idiot. Ow. Give my health back, idiot. Give it That is correct, but... Damn, Frost. But... Damn, Frost. <laughs> That's, Flexing on us like that. That's so shameless. No. Is that I'm being flexed on, where's my cuddles? I don't know, you have to get a roommate. I... There's no chest here? What do you mean? Surely it's... Behind this. Surely it's on the other side. I am sad. Uh. Well, that thing Getting doesn't... Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. D yeah... Seems we've found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. I would cuddle with you, it's already too far away. And how exactly Aww. will you be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. He's and sipping a little too hard, part. chilled. <laughs> and that's all you need to worry about. I'm yeah. about to get some cuddles. Huh? Clive? Yeah. <laughs> it's Always. been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so what rude, What the fuck? Brother. What if we want his help again next time? Why was he suddenly rude? Was he scared his bro was gonna fall for Clive? Like, what was happening? <laughs> What's going on here? Explain! I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Oh my god. The path continues on the other side. Just strike his pose, put his hands on the hips like a little slut, and then. Surely there's a chest somewhere here, right? No chests for you. Oh, come on! Oh. We're just gonna get up? Yup. Got fucking wrecked. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so there's no way here. That's weird. One day forward. Damn, Sean, just deep. That's a deep hole. 
make a good mom joke out of that, but I felt it was too obvious. That is true. Oh my god! What the fuck? The final that, sin. No, that's more like your mom. So this is the Megas. <laughs> Oh, Deb. Please elaborate. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. <laughs> I remember being captivated by the story as a child. What do you mean you're not touching the sides? What? You're so white, you're not even touching the sides. Oh my god. Long, long ago, man I can't was believe I had to explain that one. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that the one. The to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. I want to know what's done there. Let's victorious cool. and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him. Two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. Please tell me we get to explore that. I want to know. There's this water down there. Mm. I want to know. Oh god. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. <laughs> that looks so stupid. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. Dude. <sighs> there is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, 
These are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grigo made flesh. Turn to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sembrek. Father, <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. I don't think you do, bro. <laughs> Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding mm -hmm. the nature of nation, of rulers, and of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire. Forgive no! Me. Fucking transform into Bahamut and grill the <laughs> holy shit. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Yep. Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Just kill her. Yeah. Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? I hate her. As she just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Holy shit. But like she's doing it on purpose, right? And it's. Uh, Yeah, Saber, I think we all, I think we all can agree that we're not, we're not the a fan. Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. My god. <sighs> oh, Frost. What? It's kind of hot. What? That she's a f red flag on <laughs> legs? What is wrong with you, Frost? <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> we, we, we have established no. this already. I'm, okay, no, I like, can't. I'm, a little crazy. I'm not going we to accept be sure this. Sylvester no, no. will do everything in his power to hold on to Twitch. That's just, that's just how it is. No, 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 no. No, no, no.
I think you killed it. I think I did. I got a little annoyed at that because these are rude. So what the heck? Go Torga, get the item! Get the item! Peace on a bush. Mm. So this is closed. That's cool. So if you take up the take up the uh, en en encyclopedia, however you say that word, mm -hmm. and read about the falls. A vast cavity in the earth, located in the steps of the forgotten, a desolate coastal region of eastern Dalmechia, despite the fact that for centuries seawater from the Strait of Otha has flowed into the plum plumpless crater without seas, it shows no sign of filling. The tragic tale that came to be known as the sins of Zem Zemeckis is said to have taken place here. So it go it's going somewhere, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what I really want to know. Yeah. It's going into those ruins. Hey, Zach. Hi, Zach. How are you? How are you? Crate is way, way, way bigger than what a direct nuclear strike could do. Yeah. Yeah? If you open your world map, that's literally the hole you see on the world map. Bye. You're finished. There's no hole. World map. Oh, the. Yeah, this hole. Hole. Yeah. Big hole. Wonder which. What beam made that? I need to know. I mean, so this crystal. No, it's no. like right next to it, right? Yes, yes. Um, so how far does that go underground is the question. No idea, and but then... I need to go deep. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. That was bad even for me, for no, us. Geez. Oh. <laughs> because they don't know how to live it was a classic the blessing all right I don't want to fight this idiot too bad guys, that's really unfortunate for you guys. Oh my god, that thing got yeeted. Holy shit. Whee. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. They could have just not attacked me, but... You know. Nah. Ow. Man, I it's two years. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was two years ago. Yeah, crazy. Uh, Turtle, thank you for the, thank you for the twenty-four months, for the two years. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was crazy times. That was crazy times indeed. There's something underwater. Do you think it's ducks? You think there's ducks down there? Maybe. I, I'll give you this one for free, Frost. 
I used to be a banker, but I lost interest. There are no crystals here. Look at this cute going. chocobo! Look, look how fluffy it is and cute! This is the choco nugget. Goots, okay, That's I, right. you, I... He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his so supplies. Horrible. I dare say he'll have finished by now. It's yellow. It's funny shape. It's... Chicken nuggets aren't yellow. What do you think of? Right, but it doesn't have a nose. It has a beak. That's that's the nose. No, it's a it's called a beak. And a nose. It's called a beak. It sniffs with you it. You can't call it a nose because it's not a nose. What do you do with a nose? It's a cute sniff. Exactly. But it, but it's a big. Bloody cruise and Yeah, <laughs> I want to pet the sniffy part. <laughs> Fine, you win. <laughs> Another one, two chests right next to each other. What the fuck? Are these people rich? Have wool? Playing Metal Gear. Metal Gear Sake 4. What? This game hard. What do you mean this game is hard? Hazel, hello? What is happening? Huh? What is happening? Oh my god, how did that not activate? Give me stuff! You won't find a finer array yes, this getting side laid of the down. Who's getting laid? Late. Oh, sorry. I sorry. I vastly Fine misunderstood. Choice. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, go go to bed, Gulliver. <laughs> Many thanks. Don't worry about what I. Don't worry. 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 I think honestly, I think we can actually call it here, because this is probably going to start some crazy shit. And I think we're just going to wait with that and do it on Thursday. Yeah, and tomorrow's Eula banner. I actually need to, I think next week I'm going to put in some uh, Genshin streams. Uh, there's also, yeah, there's like, you know, I need to kind of keep, uh, I need to kind of catch up with stories still. <laughs> Can't just abandon that. Um, but yes, maybe we'll do that. Uh, and maybe a community fun fancy day. Yeah, we'll go. So I don't we know. can do some dailies and chill and hang out. Yeah. Um, we're gonna wrap up on that moment where you heated those wolves, morphed all over them. Okay. Yes. Yes, that. Um, so let me see who I can send you to today. And then we're going to be back tomorrow for more raiding. And then if you want to see more Final Fantasy 16, that's going to be on Thursday. Um, I'm going to raid Zuan because Zuan is playing the same game. And Zuan is right at the start of Final Fantasy 16. So it just started today. Yep, she just started today, so that's perfect for us to go to. Uh, no spoilers, uh, unless, I don't know, unless you haven't seen anything of the game and you're just here for un unknown reasons. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for joining today. Um, where are your parents? What do you mean? Who's mine? What? Don't, don't hurt me like this. Don't hurt me like this, I swear to God. Uh, but yes, thank you very much for joining today. I'm going to see you guys either tomorrow for raid. Again, it's going to be more Final Fantasy twelve, and uh, Or on Thursday for more of, more of this. We're going to explore whatever is ahead of us. So yes, thank you very much for hanging out with us. Uh, I don't, and I don't know if I said it, but Turtle, thank you for the 24 months. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I hope you guys stay hydrated. And I'll see you whenever you choose to come back. So have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.